everyone today I will show you how to uh, optimize uh, hydropower problems this is a maximization example uh, on uh, how to uh, maximize the benefit added from sale of water by withdrawing uh, from a reservoir of a maximum capacity of 80 megametric cubed and having uh, initial storage capacity of uh, 20 megametric cubed so this is initial storage of capacity actually initial storage of 20 mega meter cubed and uh, this is a capacity therefore from this reservoir we need to uh, sell water this is a capacity a maximum capacity from this maximum capacity we need to uh, withdraw a uh, water and sell to the consumers uh, therefore the price of water uh, during summer and uh, winter uh, vary and uh, uh, these are uh, for summer 0.05 dollar per meter cubed and for winter 0.2 uh, dollar per meter cubed respectively uh, the inflow uh, as well as uh, for uh, the inflow during summer and winter also vary uh, for summer inflow uh, is 100 megameter cubed and for winter 35 megameter cubed it's reduced from uh, the summer one respectively uh, therefore from this ex exercise uh, we need to have uh, Excel installed in your computer uh, as well as you need to have a solver uh, application in your Excel therefore I will strictly go to uh, the solution procedures the first procedure is obtain the objective function this is objective function so therefore objective function uh, what we need to do is uh, to maximize therefore our obje objective function type is not uh, to minimize to maximize therefore to maximize uh, the profit therefore to, to maximize the, the profit uh, we need to use uh, this ob maximization uh, objective function therefore uh, strictly I will go to uh, objective function therefore for my objective function, uh, these are price uh, need to be uh, maximized. Guess benefit or not should be maximized. Therefore, this price needs to be uh, maximized. Therefore, for summer, this price needs to be uh, maximized and uh, zero point two. This price needs to be maximized. Therefore, how to uh, incorporate this? price during summer and winter into our objective function therefore uh, here open Excel objective function equation is Z and therefore Z equals to 0 0.05 per meter cube this is uh, dollar per meter cube times this is in summer price therefore times S Yeah, this is the objective function. We need to maximize this benefit 0.2 dollar per meter cubed times this is a winter price, therefore, Q pointer flow in a winter. That means QS is a uh, flow in a uh, summer, and whereas QW is flow in a winter. Therefore, this is our objective function. Therefore, next, our next uh, task is to obtain constraints. As you can see, these are the constraints. Constraint question: QS. This is a summer flow. A summer flow here. A summer flow. 100, 100 is uh, the summer flow, and the maximum. A flow in the summer needs to be uh, 100 plus initial storage. This is 20 megameter cubed. This is the maximum constraint for uh, this the summer summer inflow. Therefore, Q, the first constraint is QS must be less than or equals to 120. Uh, whereas the minimum. The minimum QS constraint is uh, must be greater than or equals to 40. This is because from uh, 100 to 80, 0 to 20, 
megametricued and uh, there is an initial storage of 20 megametricued therefore uh, sum up this 20 plus 100 minus 80 20 20 plus 20 40 therefore qs uh, must not be a less than this uh, 40 megametricued therefore the second uh, the second qs uh, is to be greater than or equal to 40 whereas the uh, the other the constraint is uh, QS plus QW must 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 be uh, less than or equals to 155. This the maximum constraint for uh, for summer and winter should be 135 100, 100 plus 35 plus this initial storage. This this needs to be the maximum for both uh, QS and uh, QW. Therefore, the third constraint. The third constraint here, QS plus QW must not be uh, greater than uh, 155. Whereas uh, the minimum for both summation needs to be uh, the other constraint, and uh, needs to be uh, this is the minimum QS plus plus 35 QW. Therefore, uh, the minimum of QS is. Uh, this 100 minus 80 that is 20 plus the initial storage 40 uh, is the minimum for summer uh, in below therefore this summer in below uh, plus 35 is the minimum for uh, both summer and winter in below therefore we need to insert this constraint into our uh, equation therefore qs the first one is QS must be less than or equals to less than or equals to what? QS is 100 QS 100 100 this is flow this is QW equals to 25 so, this is winter and this is summer therefore this QS must not be an initial 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 rule storage is equal to 20 therefore qs must be less than or equal to 100 100 plus this initial storage so qs needs to be 120 whereas the capacity capacity of a reservoir needs to be IC so during summer QS must be greater than or equal to initial storage is a must therefore TNT so equals to TNT plus plus this and uh, 100 minus 80 100 minus 80 This is uh, the minimum quiz for some uh, inflow. This is a two constraint. Whereas for QS and QW, for this a maximum and a minimum. For a maximum, uh, it needs to be less than this. The summations of both needs to be less than or equals to less than or equals to here equals to. Uh, both summation 100 plus 35 plus this initial storage the maximum of this uh, constraint needs to be uh, the sum of these three these three therefore enter here what about the minimum of both this qs plus qw equals to Less than or equals to sorry. This is this is the maximum constraint. This is the minimum. Therefore, this summation needs to be greater than or equals to. Okay, 
ኳልስቱ ኳልስ ዘ ሚኒማም ኦፍ ኪዩኤስ ኢን ዘ ኪዩኤስ ኢዝ ሚኒማም ኢን ኮንስታንት ዚስ 35 ሶ 35 ዚ ኮንስታንት ዊ ኒድ ቱ አጀስት ዚስ ሰመር ኢን ፍሮ ሶ ዘት ዲ ማክሲሙም ቤኒፊት ካን ቢ ኦርነድ ዘርፎር ኪዩኤስ ሚኒማም ቫልዩ ኢዝ 40 አ ፕላስ this summation is to be greater than uh, for qs 40 and qw 35 therefore this, these are the constraints the other one is the negativity constraint as you can see the third one the second one uh, obtain constraints and uh, the third one obtain the negativity constraint then finally uh, open solver in excel and uh, type those constraint as well as objective function and solve for uh, those those optimization uh, inputs therefore the negative constraint uh, by itself is qs must must be uh, greater than or equals to yeah the uh, sorry and this is this is not equal to zero here as you can see it is not equal to zero this is a negative constant qs and qw must not be negative value therefore uh, therefore this is zero this is zero these are our constraints and a constraint for our objective function as well as the negative constraint therefore uh, this is the value so these are uh, values needs to be optimized using solver here what we need to do is uh, open solver in a data there is solver okay solver is not available here if it is not available here right click here customize quick access toolbar then here on the left side there is add in open and uh, this add in and uh, finally excel add ins yeah so press here or go yeah now as you can see uh, there are add ins available here so among us uh, this so among us this add ins uh, this is solver add ins are checked and therefore make sure it is checked uh, so press here okay now as you can see solver is active here now open solver here as you can see from uh, the powerpoint we need to uh, <coughs> here in a, as you can see we need to uh, the target cell here objective function is our the target cell therefore this is maximum by changing uh, yeah change this and the uh, subject to constant yeah. this is how uh, we can solve using excel so we need to uh, type a new excel open here so uh, now uh, to make sure z z uh, is a function and uh, which is equal to 0 0.05 as you can see from this 0 0.05 and 0 0.2 therefore these are the coefficient times qs qs is this one so close plus bracket here 0 0.2 times qw as you can see qw in such a way this is uh, our objective function okay now what we, we are going to do is open solver uh, application here so add it okay. set objective function objective function is uh, the initial value this is objective function whereas uh, set this object function to the value of maximizing so maximize by changing the variables these are the variables so, yeah. Yeah. subject to uh, the constraints we to add constraints 
say three friends these are values are say three friends therefore for the first one qs 200 tond is that friends which is must be greater than or equals to 100 miles 100 tond uh, needs to be greater than or equals to qs here qs is this one so it's greater than changes into greater than if it is less than to greater than so constraint is qs here so add here 155 if it is less than equals change to greater than equals to. so this 155 must be less than greater than equals to this is qs plus qw qs plus pw yeah so add here okay, add now 40 must be uh, here yeah leave as it is because it's, it's the default one so constraint qs this one so okay now this is 75 is a cell reference then uh we leave as it is the default one so qs plus so add this non negativity constraint, therefore, zero. Yeah, but it's the default one, so okay. Constraint to squeeze add also this, the, this is the last one as it is. QW. So okay, finally, I yeah. have. We have inserted six constraints as you can see one, two, three, four, five, six constraints here. These four as well as these two, six total. So finally, uh, select a solving method, simplex method, linear programming method, and also JRG uh, non linear uh, methods and the evolutionary method. There are three methods. So I choose simplex linear programming method. So finally, uh, click solve yeah now as you can see uh, the objective function total value is 25 dollar is the maximum dollar uh, maximum uh, benefit uh, which can be earned from uh, withdrawing uh, during a summer and a winter so for summer uh, withdraw uh, around 40 40 megameter cubed is uh, the optimum for a winter 115 is the default one this is uh, how we can uh, solve using this uh, excel solver application